Tara, I appreciate this article. And if I'm going to be vulgar, let's peel back this foreskin and get down to fucking. Because someone's going to get screwed over all this shit. You know, and, and it, it's true that, um, you know, the the in diversity and inclusion training, the anti-discrimination -dis stuff actually radicalizes people. It's hilarious. It is the is it equal and opposite reaction because of uh, how much bullshit it gets shoved down people's throats uh, via you know, subject subjectivity, and you're trying to re-educate educated people as if they don't have a, a, a you know a, a critical uh, a means of critical analysis that's outside of critical theory. Like, come on, this is why we have philosophy. And why we teach it is so that we we understand the arguments. ...of liberal arts at the Wilfrid Laurier University told that it's a perception that Canada is more intolerant than the reality would suggest. Mr. Haskell, a professor at the Faculty of Liberal Arts at the Wilfrid Laurier University, told the Epic Times. We are moving outside of objective reality to subjective perception. He recently published a... There you go. Object, objectivity, and subject, subjectivity. So objectivity that is contextual to the object, and then then subjective interpretation to the subject. Uh, so the, the difference being, of course, the extrapolated is the ethical and the moral, and subject is is individual, while while objective is factual. Uh, so there's there's a basis uh, for all of these things and the intellectual inquiry uh, that we that for which is like a, a epistemology, if I if I remember correctly, um, like the study of knowledge. Um, let's see if I'm I'm, I'm rem remembering this correctly. There you go. Um, so don't listen to me. I don't know shit. But if you read the rest of this article, which I, I suggest you do, the Epoch Times and the Ottawa Citizen are on point as far as, uh, you know, being vocal and active in their the the pursuit to a return to a re like in something that would be reasonable and the restoration of the social contract which is common sense right the common sense which is has been again it's been eviscerated and it's been decimated uh, by the by the left by the the intel uh, the hyper uh, quote unquote hyper intellectuals of the left and remember it's it's not about be, not about like going after eggheads or engineers it's about going after the people that are in the ivory towers and the, the 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 thing about the ivory tower is that you can you can hack it down because ivory is brittle, right? You can hack down the ideology very easily and have them topple down um, with the tower that they've built in order to keep themselves isolated. But it doesn't work like that anymore because that that in itself is antisocial behavior. And antisocial behavior in the age of information, you know, blocking people and so on and, so, and whatnot. Is basis actually for suing them for for a suit um, because of stuff that a precedent such as the Good Samaritan laws, in which if you ignore someone and then you block them, then that's reason enough for for gross negligence and incompetence. Now, so if I go I go to Canada, let's look up uh, look up the laws for. Uh, so criminal code. Incompetence. So this is this is claim for uh, it's like an insanity plea, defense of mental disorder. No person is criminally responsible for an act committed 
or an omission made while suffering from a mental disorder that renders the person incapable of appreciating the nature and quality of the act or omission or of knowing that it was wrong. Presumption. Every person is presumed not to suffer from a mental disorder so as to be exempt from criminal responsibility by virtue of subsection 1 until the contrary is proved on the balance of pro probabilities. So balance of probabilities, that's, that's going to be a... Um, well, it's going to be a, 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 a for and against kind of argumentation. Burden of proof is that there is an accused with suffering from mental disorder, so as to be exempt from the criminal responsibility, uh, so not criminally responsible. That's the context. Whoops, not that one. So there's the Canadian Evidence Act. Cross examination as the previous statements. So this is this is again the basis of, of law and argumentation is ethos, pathos, and logos. And then you're getting into stuff that happens during a trial, if it goes to trial. Mm, for negligence. There you go. Wanted or reckless disregard. So Ozzy Osbourne, you know, he, I was watching that thing. He was talking about how he had an unnecessary surgery on his neck. Because, uh, you know, he, he trusted the doctor wholly and um, naively, frankly, um, hoping that, you know, well, it po possibly because of his context of having lived in England. And frankly, if you fuck up as a doctor in England, you're screwed. You get you'll be drawn and quartered. Here we go. Criminal negligence. Everyone is criminally negligent who, in doing anything or in omitting to do anything, that is his duty to show wanton or reckless disregard for the lives or safety of other persons. So this is grounds right here uh, for a lot of charges to be laid in my own life because of uh, people's uh, their their greed and their gluttony. And their disregard for my life and my safety via vis a vis the the incorpor incorporations and the, and the deference of responsibility from person to person. Oh, well, you have the contract, so now you have to fulfill this part of it and you have to get out there. You have to go across the country with your tools and you have to pick up this stranger who, who doesn't have any, any, any means of making his own money or doesn't have any money at that time, etc., etc., etc. Funny how life is, isn't it? 